The refrigerator aisle, everybody's worst nightmare. It is so cold in here. Getting some spinach. I got some cucumbers. I'm looking for, here we go. Some more berries over here. But I need blueberries. Here's the price. My mom is always in this section over here. Always looking at the baked goods. Who wouldn't look at the baked goods? Everything here is delicious. Pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, that looks so good. I don't need it though. It looks delicious. Here's the beef I get. I always get the organic ground beef. It comes in a three pack. Four ninety nine. Oh my gosh. It's tiramisu bar cake. $16. And she's gonna pick one big enough for leftovers, of course. $26 for nine pounds. And then there's also. Ooh. You look good too, Mom. Master card ham. Cranberry goat's milk cheese. Ooh. Oh my god. I left my list in the car, which is not good because then I will end up getting more things than I actually need. <laughs> so I'm just looking around. I'm gonna get for my charcuterie board, I think. I'm gonna get one of these prosciutto, so prosciutto, and some more prosciutto. It actually has cheese rolled up into it, but I think I wanna do my own cheese and pick my own. So I'm gonna get this instead. You guys have seen my last like a few videos ago this stuff is delicious absolutely delicious the paper is not even a price because it doesn't matter everyone's gonna get it anyway and i think there was a shortage here like right after the election people were like running to costco in our area for whatever reason Running low on the dishwashing pods. I think I'm gonna go with the platinum. Okay, platinum, let's do that. <laughs> the meatballs and the tiramisu cake were definitely not on my list, but they are definitely necessary. I mean, hello, look at how beautiful that looks. Costco is the number one place to get your maple syrup. It is an incredible price and it is so delicious. See the granola's on sale, like for like four dollars off. I might wait because we still have a little bit, but usually this one right here is what we get. And it's usually like $4.99 or something. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. I spied these. This would actually make a great Christmas gift idea. I don't know. It's really cute though. Look at these in the bread aisle. Pumpkin spice donuts. I ended up getting some almonds here because they're a really good price. I was gonna get crackers, they're like a different assortment, so I don't want to have like that many of the same crackers. So that will be a Winco haul for sure. Some applesauce, and I spy it on the end over here. So grabbing that for snacks for the kids. Here we go. $8.59. I usually get Dove bar soap, but I'm thinking I'm going to try Kirkland. I don't even think I've ever seen a Kirkland soap before. It is, wherever the sign is, $9.99. Ooh, give it a try. Check out now, I have all my stuff. Here we go. Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Alicia. I just got back from Costco with my mom. I did a little like, kind of like a mini pantry stock up slash Thanksgiving prep. I picked up a few items that I knew would make it to Thanksgiving since Thanksgiving is only two weeks away and I wanted to get a head start on some things. We went primarily to get the turkey, but the turkeys were not there. They are coming tomorrow, so we were a day too early. 
So tomorrow or maybe even the next day we'll pick it up. There are some new things that I picked up that maybe I've just never seen before or never paid attention to before. So I wanna show you what I picked up. So let's do this. We got some whole milk. Like I said, we're always going through whole milk in this house. And me, I love drinking just cold milk recently. I had a baby two months ago and milk is like the number one thing I like to drink. So we go through this often. Picked up some baby carrots because my boys love carrots. Whenever they go to their grandparents house, they always have like the bulk carrots, like the big long size carrots, like the full size carrots. And they'll just chomp on those. They're so strange. But anyway, so I picked these up. Got some oranges, now is the time for, or not oranges, clementines I should say. So I picked some of those up. I picked up some almonds, I think they were $10.99 and I'm going to include this on my charcuterie board that I'm going to make for Thanksgiving as like a little appetizer. And it's always just good to have almonds on hand. I love having almonds as a snack with like some cheese and some fruit or veggies on the side. So always good to have around. Rayo's is my all time favorite, 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 favorite marinara sauce. It is absolutely delicious and it is very, very clean. If you just take a look-see right here, we got whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, and oregano. That is it. It makes this a very clean marinara sauce, which is great for spaghetti, for ravioli, for, I don't know if you saw my last video, the what's for dinner video. I made the spaghetti um, squash with ground turkey and with marinara sauce, so this is another good thing to have around in case we need to make that. Picked up some mar mar this is not marinara sauce, some maple syrup. We love keeping this around. This is good to sweeten our coffee for, uh, oh my goodness, for pancakes. I think you can replace this, replace like some sugars with maple syrup and it is delicious. This I'm not really counting in my haul. This my mom gave to me because she wanted a few muffins. And you know what I do with these is I will wrap them up in saran wrap and freeze them. And they thaw like within minutes pretty much if you just leave it on the counter. So that is something that I'm going to do today. I'm just gonna wrap them and put them in my freezer. Got the blueberry, got the chocolate. Can't go wrong with the chocolate ones. Those are always so good. This is new to me. I'm pretty sure it's been there forever and I just never even noticed. But these chicken meatballs, teriyaki and pineapple flavored sound so good over some like either quinoa or rice. And I love the meal inspiration right here. I don't know if you can read it. Wrap in lettuce leaves with bean sprouts, shredded carrots, cilantro, or parsley, and, dri and drizzle with hoisin sauce. And we definitely always have hoisin sauce around. So this sounds delicious. But like I said, I think this will just go great with just quinoa or just steamed white rice or jasmine rice. Another new thing for me, because I try not to stay in the bakery section because I will lose it and I will pick up everything if I don't get out of there quick enough, and it is the tiramisu bar cake. This looks absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, look at like the lady fingers in there and the cream and the cocoa espresso. I am here for it and I cannot wait to dig into this tonight. I'm gonna give some of this away to my mom too. Last time I could not find hummus and we love keeping these little cups. I actually think they could make them smaller to be honest. Like I think it's a very good serving size. Me and my husband will split one of them. They're very, here I'll open. So this looks small on camera, but it's a two and a half ounce cup and it's actually plenty. So like I said, we share, um, we share a cup of it with um, vegetables or pita chips. Let's see if there is a... You guys don't care about the calories, do you? It's good, and it's good for you. Picked up some laundry detergent. Not laundry detergent, you guys. I am losing my mind today. I picked up some dishwashing pods. There you go. We were running low, and we run our dishwasher once a week. Once a Oh, my goodness. Once a day. <laughs> once a day, we, wa we run our dishwasher just because of all the humans here in this household. I don't know how more than four to five people do it. I don't know if they run their dishwasher twice a day or or they use paper plates and give up, I don't know. Let me know, how often do you run your dishwasher? Just curious, and how many people are in your household? Got some bananas. Of course, the boys are huge banana people. We offer them fruit at every meal. 
And I think if we didn't give them what we wanted them to have, I think they would ask for a banana at every meal. They love bananas. They are obsessed with them. The best English cucumbers, always the best price at Costco as well. Again, with that hummus up there, I put it in their lunches or as a side for dinner. If I, again, if I'm running out of time and don't wanna make a vegetable, I'll put this on the side. And they do not complain about it because they love it. And they're not watery, you know, like the regular cucumbers. So they're really crisp and firm. Picked up some blueberries. We're always getting berries here at Costco because they always look so delicious. So pretty. They're always so pretty and I think that's what makes me get them. Like I know they're good, but like the pretty factor is high. <laughs> I picked this up. I have not seen this. I don't know if this is new. Winsleydale with cranberries. Now I've had Winsleydale before. My dad is the one who introduced me. He passed away many years ago, but he, um, he loved all types of cheeses. He loved this cheese though. And so this just kind of reminded me of him. And so I wanted to get this and we'll have this for Thanksgiving. We are an avocado family. We like avocado toast. We like avocados on our tacos. We like it on our eggs. We like it by itself as a side. Like my kids will eat it just out of the, out of the, what do you call this? Out of the shell? Like I said in the store, I don't know if you could hear me just because I have that mask on, but I never seen the Kirkland bar soap. I'm always getting the Dove bar soap and I've never seen this before. So I wanted to try it. I'm sure it's literally just the same thing as Dove, just a little cheaper and without that brand name. We are huge coffee drinkers. We have a French press and we have an espresso machine. We do a French press every morning and usually at night is when we do an espresso, but sometimes we will make um, two French presses a day, like one, at one in the morning, one at night. So it's great to have Pete's and they have the best price for a 32 ounce bag. Baking season is here. Brown sugar, a huge package of it, four pound bag and I will definitely be going through that very quickly. I also got some applesauce. I needed a, another snacky item for the kids to have in the pantry. They are allowed to take one snack per day. They have to run it by us first though, what they're grabbing, and this is another option for them to choose from. Got some baby spinach for smoothies. I like to stick this on my avocado toast or with my eggs or to make like a salad. Always like having baby spinach. And again, the best price, and it always lasts the longest for whatever reason. I don't know why crop, Costco? Costco produce lasts so long. I don't know, compared to like regular grocery stores. It just lasts a long time. And I am not complaining about that, by the way. Picked up some eggs. We go through eggs like crazy, because I, for one, I bake a lot. I, lo I enjoy baking so much. Um, and then we love eggs for breakfast. My boys love eggs. I make hard boiled eggs as a snack too, so always have to have eggs on hand. Got some ground beef. This is the only ground beef I really ever buy. Sometimes I will buy it at Whole Foods if the price is right, but honestly, this is a great price. It's $19.99 for 1.34 pounds per package, so it is a good deal. And last but not least, I got this for the charcuterie board that I'm going to make for Thanksgiving. I made one for New Year's Eve. I'll post that picture or video that I have of it right here. Um, I did a fairly large one. It was the size of my island, like, like not this whole size of my island. That would be crazy. It was this whole side of my island was filled. And I'm gonna do something like that, obviously not to that scale. There's not gonna be as many people here for that, but I do wanna make it like a cute, little nice charcuterie, and I'll get the rest of the ingredients from Winco more than likely. This little girl just woke up right as I was ending it, so it is perfect time for me to say goodbye to y'all, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing if you enjoyed it, and give this video a thumbs up as well to let me know that you liked it. So until then, we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye! <laughs> She's saying bye all by herself. So cute. Isn't she just so cute? She is so cute. All right, guys, you know, I have to put all this away, and you're gonna have to stay here and watch me do it. It's the least you can do. Think about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. My heart is saying, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I want him now, 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 now. My heart is saying, yeah, 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 yeah.